Earlier this week, we reported that Scott Disick has been fired by Chris Jenner. Many wondered if Chris has the authority to fire Disick, as she's the grandmother of his children, and not his boss in the formal sense. Others felt that if she has the power to 86 her daughter's embarrassing baby daddy, she should have done so years ago. The situation is a complicated one, and there aren't many cut and dried answers, but as executive producer on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Chris does have the ability to kick Scott off the show, which would profoundly hamper his other business ventures. Club appearances by former reality stars typically don't feature six-figure checks and bottles of Moet in the VIP. As for why she waited until now, well, it seems during Scott's suicidal bender, Chris just felt bad for him. Now, Disick is dating Sophia Ritchie, and insiders say he's cut back on the booze at the request of his 19-year-old girlfriend. The idea that Scott was willing to cool it on the source for Sophia but not for his three children apparently and rightfully pissed Chris off to no end. So Chris is well within the rights, and she has every reason to be angry. But apparently, that won't stop Scott from fighting for a piece of the empire that he feels he helped build. Scott met with Chris and lawyers this week because he knows she cannot get rid of him while he is still under contract to appear on coke through next season, a source close to the situation tells Radar Online. She told him that she was cutting him out of everything, but because he and Chris were so close in the past, he is really trying to persuade her to change her mind. Apparently, the Lord isn't above exploiting his familial connection to Chris for monetary gain. Scott knows that he will be a part of Chris's life forever because he is the father to three of her grandkids, so he thinks that it is absolutely absurd that she would even try to pull something like this, says the insider. Scott has made Chris a ton of money because she has used all of his drama to increase ratings on the show. Pretty shady stuff, but before you go siding with Chris 100%, you should know that the exploitation is a two-way street. Chris wants to use Scott's mental breakdown for next season's storyline and she cannot do that without including him in the show, says the source. So she is kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place right now, and she knows it. Only in Chris Jenner's world is the idea of using a loved one's mental breakdown anything less than appalling. But hey, she didn't get to be the world's number one momager by being nice. Watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians online to remind yourself of just how far Scott has fallen.